Welcome or welcome back. Today we have gotten in the September Owl Crate box, whose theme I actually remember this time around. It is Memento Mori. I am very excited to get into it and see what we've got here. While cutting it open, something decided to shift his weight and um, we'll see what that looks like. Right, and we have our spoiler card with our little skull. Right, this month's book is supposed to take place on an island. Okay, sit that over here. And our first item is Cresswell and Wadsworth. Investigative Services, Belgrave Square, established uh, 1888. Oh! From, did that series ever get a name? But uh, Stalking Jack the Ripper series that or it started with Stalking Jack the Ripper. Oh, it's so pretty. I kind of wish they would have made the flower a different color. Okay, and our literary luggage pin is like right here close to the top. Uh, Sierra Moon Festival. Inspired by an ember in the ashes. Did I read that one? I think I read that one. I'm not sure. Yeah, I did. I read that one. And it's just got our little street scene here with some buildings or tents and a cart with food and all of the beautiful lanterns hanging around and a full moon in the background. That's just so cute. Pretty. I really need to get my luggage pin or just my pin banner up so that I can display all the pretty pins that I've been getting. What is this? Stories are the wildest things of all. It's a box. But what is in the box? <laughs> it's another jewelry holder. It's an itty pitty one. This is like great travel size though. It is very compact. Yes, it's metally. What is this? It says Memento Mori on the cover of a book with like leaves around it. That kind of looks like a magnet. I have no idea what this thing is. I have to look at this spoiler card in a minute. Obviously, possibly inspired by the book. It's, you know, it's a diad. One flesh, one end. Sea salt, musk, amber, cardamom, and citrus. If I flick the wick. Hmm. Okay, it does smell interesting. I'll give it, it's got the musk going on. I don't smell citrus at all though, personally. I don't know, and it's a, it's a tiny candle, so that'll be an interesting one to try to break out at some point. Then we have a box. Everything casts a shadow, even the world we live in. Light your way through the dark corridors of crumbling manor houses or overgrown gar gothic gardens with this lantern inspired by Galleon. A lantern? What? And it's got the words etched on it that, um, that was on the outside of the box and stuck to it. I think that's probably glue. Oh man. And it has this beautiful manor scene on the other side with rose bushes growing up around it and a little half moon. These dreams will be the death of me with some skeletal hands going around it. And that gives me secret garden vibes because it's like a garden wall with a door in it. Oh my goodness. That is adorable. And now 
we are down to the book and our newsletter and I think that is the next month's uh, The Deaths, Nicole, The Sparents, and this is her author letter with a pretty picture. It's just the same as this cover with these beautiful, they look like tiger lilies except they're um, pink. I don't know what this other flower is called that looks like a bird's head. Oh my goodness, the inside of this book, it's got these different colored green ferny leaves popping and bone designs. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And the naked hard book is a lagoon scene that just wraps from one side to the other. And I'm guessing that's got our main characters looking like they're swimming under a full moon. Deep down underneath it all, the island's heart beats. And our inside cover. Also main characters. Though the girl looks a little different on the reversible dust jacket than she does on the cover of the book. The dude looks almost the same. Maybe they're the same characters. Maybe they're different characters. I'll have to read to find out, won't I? For the description, I'm going to skip that part with the... Um, name of the island that I don't know that I could pronounce right. Forced to tag along to the remote island on her mother's honeymoon, Addie isn't thrilled about being trapped there for two weeks. The island is stunning with its secluded beaches and forests full of white flowers, but there's something eerie about the place. After Addie meets an enigmatic boy on the beach, all the flowers start turning pink. The island loves you, he tells her, but she can't stop sleepwalking at night. The birds keep calling her name, and there's a strange little girl in the woods who wants to play hide and seek. When Addie learns about two sisters who died on the island centuries ago, she wonders if there's more to this place, things only she can see. Okay. And our September newsletter, it has our interview with the author, and it shows the Owlcrate edition versus the regular edition. The regular edition's cover definitely looks creepier. I will give it that. Uh, famous Last Words, Epitaph Features on Tombstones of Authors. If you like the depths, they suggest you try Gallant, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, and Splintered. Hmm. Liction and Limestone, Interview with the Author, or Interview with the Vendor, my bad. The Photo Box Challenge, and Cresswell and Wadsworth, a bookish playlist for fans of Stalking Jack the Ripper. Ooh, that's cool. And other releases they're excited about this month. Self Made Boys by Anna Marie McLemore. Monsters Born and Made by Tanvi Burra. I should stop trying to say these authors' names. With Fire in Their Blood, Wish Trees, and Foul Lady Fortune. Cool, cool. Let's see. And our October theme is going to be a Study in Shadows. Every October box will include the next paperback classic designed by Rena Illustration. Now, the spoiler card, because um, what was that weird thing? <laughs> Pin by Amber and the Ashes. Yes, yes. Chase away the ghouls as you snoop through spooky mansions with the gallant inspired lantern. Hide your stories and your jewelry in this travel slash jewelry box inspired by a monster calls. Uh, the candle, or flick the wick inspired by. Gideon the Ninth, the bag holder. Oh, so it sits. Okay, it's a bag holder, so it's supposed to sit on your table like this, and then it dangles down and it holds your bag, so your bags don't have to sit on the floor. That's so sweet. I love it. Now it goes from being a, I have no idea what this is to you could be my favorite item because you're so useful. Take you everywhere. Yes. All right then. I really like it. And then of course, our book. This was a very interesting box then. Like some of the items, 
I didn't know what they were, obviously. Look at me having brain farts there. But they turned into really cool ones. This is like the second box in a row though. I think that I have gotten a jewelry box holder. So that's different. I'm, I'm not sure why people are, are in the theme of providing those here lately. The book sounds kind of interesting. It's definitely going to be a good get into spooky vibes feel since I've already finished my TBR maybe then I will be reading this like right at the end of the month maybe and that way it really really gets me into the October spooky vibes this is our Memento Mori box I hope you guys enjoyed it you'll have to let me know down below what your favorite item in the box was I think maybe the bag holder one after I figured out what it was and the lantern is going to be a super cute decor item for Halloween when I start decorating in probably like a week if this book is on your radar, you've checked it out, or you're going to be reading it this month too, I'd love to know that as well. And then maybe we can be reading it together here at the end of the month. Shocking that I might get to it the same month it delivers. I know. If you enjoyed this video, you could check out some of my others and see if you enjoy my content and maybe want to just subscribe and join us in all our future videos. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I hope you're finding something awesome to read today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.